Hello and welcome to our third NV Sarscape Analytics walkthrough. In this video today, we're going to be going through the Persistent Scatterers tool. This is one of the more advanced SAR techniques where you need to use at least 30 images and then fully process them to understand changes that are occurring on the Earth's surface for things such as subsidence. In this example, we will be looking at Highway 36 in Broomfield, Colorado in the USA which had a major collapse in July of 2019, causing the closure of the highway for quite a period of time. This technique has been fully automated, and I'm excited to show it to you. Similarly to the other analytics, the only information that you need to provide is to input all of your SLC, or single look complex, SAR files, have a DEM ready to go, and then choose your output folder. This process in total took about 16 minutes to run, but through the power of video editing, we can immediately see our results. A little bit of background is that Persistent Scatterers uses persistent reflectance response points to track change on a millimeter scale accuracy. By this, I mean that Persistent Scatterers is very good at tracking change in urban areas or rock faces because they have persistent wave scattering responses. So for things such as tracking urban development or monitoring dam faces, this technique can actually track those movements on a millimeter scale level. So first thing first is we're actually gonna change the uh, color scale so we can get a view of the changes that are occurring in the scene itself. So from persistent scatterers, we get change that is occurring in something called satellite line of sight or so from the view of the satellite itself. So areas that are gonna be in blue are areas that are far or moving away from the satellite, whereas the areas in red are moving closer to the satellite. And we're gonna make these a little bit bigger so you can see them, but we've got a wide range of colors of some areas that are green and pretty stable. And then actually along the railroad track under Highway 36, we can see a lot of movement is occurring over this region. So the next thing we're gonna do is view this on a normalized scale so we can understand the actual changes that are occurring. So using another tool, I'm just gonna quickly go through and get another view of these changes, as well as we can use the persistent scatterers responses to track these changes over time, which we will see in a little bit. So the quick normalization of the color, we're able to see that most of the scene is pretty standard and static, but the areas in blue around Highway 36 are actually where the subsidence occurred. If we click on one of those points, we're gonna be able to see the changes that occurred over time and we're gonna plot the time series and see that for about a year before this occurrence happened, which was in late July, we're able to see this downturn trend away from the satellite towards this lake bed that the subsidence occurred in. And there we have our quick and dirty overview of the Persistent Scatterers tool. I hope you guys have a fantastic day.